up, Lottery Nerds? It's Monica, just here to tell all of you who have secured your spring cleaning sale, your five website templates are now in the drive, and this is how you can find them. So log into Notary Nerds University. The second thing you see in your library should be the spring cleaning sale. Go ahead and open that up. And mind you, while this is happening, I need you to go ahead right now and close out all of your Gmails that you may have open. Only have the one Gmail email account open that you're going to be using to access our drive. Okay, so you need a Gmail account, number one. Yes, you do. And you really need to make sure that you only have one Gmail account open when you start this process. Otherwise, it will drive you crazy when you make your copies. Okay, so spring cleaning sale, access content in order to kind of get inside, read the instructions, right? Establish your Gmail account, then open your Gmail account in the same browser that you are using while logged into Notary Nerd University. What does that mean? That means I'm logged into Notary Nerd Un University on this tab. I am in my Safari browser. I'm going to, in that same browser, click on Gmail and open up my single... Something going on and... Okay, great. This is so not good. This is not supposed to be happening right now okay so once that gmail opened is when i would actually be able to come back over here to notary nerds right click i've re read the instructions i'm going to click here to access the nnu archives okay so even though i got that temporary error because i accessed my gmail um, it threw me into the drive. It threw me into my Gmail when I clicked on drive anyway. So perfect, right? So if you are like me and you have a thousand one hundred Gmails, you really have to pay special attention to that step. Okay, so I'm in. So when you get in, you'll see spring cleaning special. You'll see a folder that says Notary Nerd University. That's going to be where all of the classes will be. That's going to take us a while. We're putting them over there a little bit at a time, and we expect it will be done by the end of March, right? The other folder, if we go back, is the website templates folder. So I know that's the one y'all are super excited about getting hold of. So this is where it gets kind of tricky. Pay attention. Open up that folder. Now, you're going to read the instructions. I put them right here. They're very simple to follow, but I'm going to give you a brief run through of what it looks like for all of my visual learners out there, my fellow visuals, okay? So once you have got your Gmail open, before you click a thing, go over to new folder and create a new folder, okay? So that's what you need to do in your drive. So let me get back to my drive. Well, I'm in my drive. Why did, why did it not give me a new folder? Might be some glitchiness going on. I clicked back up here to refresh. Now I'm going back to new and there we go, okay? So I think what had happened is when I clicked here and got to here, here or wherever I was, I wasn't yet in my drive. So to make sure you are in your drive, click that little triangle above. Now in the instructions, I tell you to name that folder website templates or website folder or whatever, website, whatever create. Okay. You see that folder there? That's good. That's what you want, right? So now what I need to go do is I need to go back to my drive. I need to go back to Notary Nerds rather, and then click here again. I need to get back into the Notary Nerds drive. So I need to be able to see this again because now that my drive is open over here and I have my folder here, now I can make my copies. Okay. So like I said, the Notary Nerd University folder, we're still moving stuff slowly over. The website template folder is the one I know you guys want. So the first thing is we've created the folder. That's the first set of instructions. The next thing we need to do is to right click on a website template and that's in the archive. And that's where you currently are. So I'm going to go to the website template, right? You see the spring cleaning special website templates. That's exactly where you're supposed to be. Right click on the one template at a time, go to make a copy. That's what the instructions say, make a copy. The next thing down, once we click make a copy, we wait. Definitely wait, because if you don't wait, what's gonna happen is you're gonna make too many copies. And there's so many people with access to this that if everybody did that, it would just be a hot mess. 
So if you'll notice, it's not going to show up. That copy is not going to show up here because this is my drive. So if you're looking for this copy here, you won't find it. So when it, when it asks you to show file location, you could have clicked there and then seen it that way. But you can also go back over to your drive. Hello. And there it is. This is why you have to make sure you open up your Gmail so that when you are in my drive, the Notary Nerd University archive drive, and you can tell that you're in that drive because all of the arrows are pointing from shared. This is only shared with me. She's sharing her spring cleaning special folder, which also has a website template folder. So these are all, everything I'm looking at on this whole screen is only shared stuff. If I want to make it mine, I have to right click, make a copy, pause, give it a minute. Don't look for it to pop up in front of you because that's not what's going to happen. And then you're going to, you know, if you try to, if you don't see it right away and you start making copies on copies, then guess what? That's, that's, you're never going to find it here. It's going to pop up over here. Hey, you've got something being shared to your drive. Do you want to see the location? You can click that link or just hop over to your drive. Give it a second. You have to be patient when making copies of Google Sites. You have to be patient when making copies of Google Sites. Now on my drive, how do I know I'm in my drive? Because it says my drive, right? So now I've made my second copy. But I'm getting a little bit ahead of myself. Because the instructions say to rename your copy with the style number and your name so that you know it's yours, right? So what I didn't do is once I made that copy, I should have come over here immediately, right-clicked, rename, and instead of copy of one, Monica Wilder's copy, I'm going to put one because one is the style. So if you have a support question, you need to tell us what style you're working with, right? So one is the style. Now I'm going to name it my name, whatever your name is. Okay. And then click OK. All right. So I got that one taken care of. Let me go ahead and take care of this one. Right click, rename, style number comes in the front, and then whatever your name is. Okay. Now. Because you have access to this, you can go back and forth and do this over time or whatever. However, my recommendation is for you to go ahead and make your copies. Make all of your copies. One, two is done. I would go here and right click and make copy for number three, creating a copy here. I will give it a second for it to do its thing. If I wanted to check social file location, what that's going to do is throw you out. It's going to throw you out and it's going to show you your drive. And in order to get back, you're going to have to click the back button. Okay, it's just that simple, right? That's why I don't like clicking that link because it throws you out. I would prefer that you just open up a new tab so you can keep this one fresh and open and then this one over here. So over, over here now we've made copy number three. So let me right click and rename that right now. So I know it's mine. When you rename these, you know they're yours. You know they're on your drive and you know, you know they're yours. So when you start fooling with them, nobody will be able to see your edits. All right, so that's number three. And let's go back over and let's do number four the same way. Make a copy. Pause, give it a second. Make sure everything is good. Sometimes you can run into glitchiness if you start trying to move too quick. Slow down, okay? Right click on the original, get that copy made. Take your time, take a couple of breaths, sip on your tea, go back over to your drive and give everything a, a refresh. Okay, so now you know you're on drive, but your drive, because you see my drive, you've already renamed one, two, and three. You just made copies of four and the original for a total of five templates, rename four, your name copy click ok rename five actually it's not five it's just original your name copy okay so now i've got all five of my templates that i got at the best sale ever the spring cleaning sale at notary nerd university 
because not only am I not only do I have these five website templates, but also what's about to happen is I'm about to have access to the entire Notary Nerds library from beginning to end. And even some of the things that were not included in the regular Notary Nerds library. Why? Because the Kajabi folks have told me that my product list is full and I have got like the maximum you can get. Like I've got up to 100 products and some of these trainings have been in there for quite some time. So it's, it's time to transition them over into their forever home on Google Drive. Shout out to Google. For those of you guys who still want the spring cleaning special, it is available. Check in the link below. Or if you want to wait, no problem. These classes will be available a la carte. Prices will be ranging from $17 to $47 each. You guys have an amazing weekend, and I'll talk with you soon. Peace.